the grand opening of Britain's first new TV station for nine years, the Sirius BBC2, was postponed when a power cut plunged the studio into darkness. The gala launch evening of BBC2, Britain's first new television channel for nine years, became a blackout as a fire at Battersea Power Station caused much of West London, including the BBC's television centre, to lose power. An evening of light entertainment was scheduled to begin at 7.20 p.m. with comedy show The Alberts ahead of a performance by Soviet comedian Arkady Rakin and a production of Cole Porter's Kiss Me, Kate. The evening was to end with a fireworks display ahead of regular programming beginning the next morning. The biggest challenge for producers including the channel's first controller, Michael Peacock, appeared to be to gain control of a real-life version of BBC Two's mascot, a kangaroo called Hilabaloo, which had gone berserk in the studio after getting stuck in a lift. Hilabaloo the kangaroo and her Joey, Custard, oversee a BBC Two executive meeting. I and the event, an irate marsupial was the least of their problems. The power went down at 6.45 p.m., and so the gala launch had to be postponed 24 hours. As a result, the first program officially shown on the new channel was a show for preschoolers called Play School which would remain a part of the channel's daily schedule for the next 24 years. When the launch program was eventually transmitted on the night of April 21, the broadcast began from a darkened studio, with only a lit candle and shot. Presenter Dennis Tua he walked into the frame picked up the candle, and, as the studio lights came up, blew it out. BBC Two controller Michael Peacock and his office under candle light. Despite the failure of its opening night, innovative programming such as documentary Civilization and The Ascent of Man, gripping drama The Foresight Saga, sporting innovations like Match of the Day in Pot Black, and regular color transmissions beginning with the Wimbledon Championships of 1967 soon made BBC Two a firm fixture in the schedules.